हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो सो फार इन द कंप्यूटर नेटवर्किंग एंड डेटा कम्युनिकेशन वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्टरी कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड वी डिस्कस्ड टू नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर मॉडल्स द ओएसआई मॉडल द ओपन सिस्टम इंटरकनेक्शन मॉडल एंड द टीसीपीआईपी मॉडल द ट्रांसमिशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल स्लैश इंटरनेटवर्किंग प्रोटोकॉल मॉडल so now uh we will discuss about the individual layers in the uh the osi model or the tcp ip model so i said in the previous video uh, which i in which i discussed about the tcp ip model that uh, be it the tcp ip model or the osi model each of these models consists of layered architecture it functions at various levels and both these models they have the physical layer at the bottom so we have to discuss all of these layers in detail and it involves a lot of concepts so first we will start with the physical layer okay so the basic concepts related to physical layer so we know that uh, in uh, data transmission you know between two devices the data is sent in the form of bit streams okay in binary form so bit actually is a binary digit it can be a zero or it can be a one so it is transmitted in series of zeros and ones so the physical layer it defines all the characteristics all the features of the transmission medium and the devices that are connected to the transmission medium to send that bit stream in its original form from the source to the destination so it handles the mechanical and electrical specifications of the transmission medium okay the interface which connects these two devices okay and various protocols rules regulations and procedures are also defined so that the data exchange between these the devices that are connected it takes place in a uh, way so that there is no data loss there is no distortion and data is uh, received by the receiver in its original form okay so the various concepts which come into play here in the physical layer as i said each of these layers okay each of these layers in the osi model or the tcp ip model is so vast so huge in itself that we can write a book on each of these layers the concepts associated with it so we we have to you know uh we cannot go on discussing about one layer because it will take a lot of time so we have to do it in cycles so we'll discuss a little bit about physical layer then we'll go to data link layer then we'll go to the network layer up to application layer and then we'll come back again to physical layer so the various concepts that we have to discuss under the physical layer is first the basic concepts related to signals here various uh, basic concepts such as analog discrete time digital signal analog to digital conversion the various concepts related to uh, you know the characteristic features of signals the basic concepts related to data transmission uh, analog and digital transmission medium so all of these will come into play various types of transmission medium the characteristics of these transmission medium the transmission modes you know simplex duplex fully duplex half duplex then the various types of transmission medium such as uh, copper cables or twisted pair cables or coaxial cables or optical fiber so all of these will come into play so uh, the main thing is that we have to cover them these all these concepts in small portions okay so 
in the in this section you know uh, the upcoming videos will be covering about signal basics the characteristics of signals and the data transmission then we will go on to the subsequent things so an important characteristic of the tcp ip model or the osi model is that you know peer to peer communication takes place it means that the physical layer of one side that is the source it communicates only with the physical layer of the destination side okay so that is the basic feature similarly you know the data link layer of one side, the source side will communicate only with the data link layer of the destination similarly the network layer will communicate only with the network layer the transport layer will communicate only with the transport layer and so on so the various functions of the physical layer which we can discuss in in a, in a short way is first is the transmission medium the nature of the transmission medium the various characteristic features so all of these will come into play whether to use copper cables whether to use coaxial cables whether to use twisted pair cables or optical fibers so all of their characteristic features it comes under the physical layer then is the bit representation now as i said data transmission takes place in bit format okay as a series of zeros and ones so how to represent this all these bits the order of these bits the pattern the sequence of zeros and ones it is decided by the physical layer through a process called encoding you know analog to digital conversion we you know we have discussed it in the signals and system section also that analog to digital conversion it consists of three steps sampling quantization encoding encoding is the final step in which the analog signal is represented in bit format as a series of zeros and ones so that is decided by the physical layer then is the data rate okay or the bit rate it means uh, the number of bits that are transmitted per second so the data transmission rate the duration of the bit the bit length all of this is decided by the physical layer then is synchronization synchronization means the data the, the the rate at which the data is being sent by the sender or the transmitter it should be such that the receiver can receive it in a good way without any loss of data without distortion uh, and uh, you know errors any errors so the data rate of the transmission rate of the sender and the receiving rate reception rate of the receiver it should be almost the same more or less the same it should be at the same level otherwise there will be loss of data there will be um, corrupted data frames so all of these things will come into play so it is the job of the physical layer to handle that then is line configuration so we know all the devices or nodes they are part of a network okay they are part of a network so whether the connection is a point to point connection or a multi point connection we have discussed about this in the uh, introductory videos computer networking data communication so please check out that it is uh, it will take a lot of time to repeat them so the type of connection between the devices that are part of a network which is called as line configuration that is handled by the uh, physical layer also the network topology what uh, in what pattern the devices are connected in the network such as mesh bus star or ring topology it is handled by the physical layer and at last the mode of transmission whether it is a simplex half duplex or full duplex i have discussed about all these things in the introductory videos in detail okay i have discussed about all of these things the transmission mode line configuration topol network topology i have discussed about mesh bus star ring in detail in separate videos so you please check out those videos so all of these things are handled by the physical layer okay so these are the functions of the physical layer in short now in the upcoming videos we are going to cover each of these aspects in detail all the necessary things 
so it will take a lot of time to cover this physical layer alone so we'll do it in cycles we'll cover small portion of physical layer then we'll go back to data link layer then we'll go to network layer then uh, transport layer and so on we'll cover small small portions then we'll come back and do it in cycles so here we have discussed some basic introductory concepts about physical layer so that uh, when we discuss about it in detail we have a good idea about what the you know the underlying concept of physical layer is okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much